Frisky is good, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> this has been wonderful. I share, as you do. I've been a student of yours for some time. I would like more insight on how am I tuning into the expanded version of me as I'm teaching and sharing? Because as I've studied you, as I play around with everything and find such joy in me being me and seeing how exquisite that is and how it tastes and being me in front of people and like in their face and they do look at me as a freak. Sometimes super freak is what they refer to me as. But I just tell them that they're just seeing Jeff being Jeff. So if you could please give me more insight on how I can recognize that more because as I'm sharing with people, I seem to be talking like you <laughs> or like me referring from you. Well, what, what you're describing, when you're in the vortex, you have access to all that you've become. In other words, that, that, there are, are a lot of different words or terminology that can be used to describe it. Here are a few that we have offered. In the beginning, we said, want it and believe it, and it is. We were talking about a blended being. We were talking about being tuned in, tapped in, turned on. We've talked about closing the gap. We've clocked, talked about flowing downstream. Now we're talking about getting into the vortex. We've talked about your inner being. We've talked about your source energy and here you are in this body and the whole point is to close this gap. That's what the art of allowing is. So what you are describing is when you focus yourself as you often do into non-resistance, which is complete allowance, then you have access to infinite intelligence. In other words, everyone does. This vortex is a universal phenomenon that is available to anyone who tunes to the frequency of it, you say. Okay, now that you've said that, as I play with your emotional scale and find my place in it and move up the emotional scale and go with the flow, I find that with all of the things that I desire, be it money, a person, a car, or these outside things, those are those moments of where I'm thinking that I want this thing to allow myself to feel a feeling. Well, well, that's exactly that. You could not have said it better. That was a perfect articulation of, of what we want you to understand. In other words, the, the object of attention is just the goal that causes the focus that allows the energy to flow, but it's the energy flowing that is the zest of life. That's why people say the joy is in the journey. That's what they mean. It's not the destination. It's the journey. We love it when life causes you to ask for something that's, that's reaching further than your habit of vibration is, but then you recognize it by the way you feel emotionally. And so you reach for the best feeling thought that you can find. You reach for the feeling of relief. As we said earlier, revenge feels better than despair or disempowerment. So you reach for the better feeling and the better feeling and the better feeling and the better feeling. And eventually you'll have the manifestation. But when the manifestation comes, what you really have is a new platform from which to reach again. So it's a constant life of expansion, but the zest or joy or passion of life is the keeping, is the getting up to speed with what you've expanded to. That's, that's where it's at. That's that emotional rush of closing that gap. Okay, so for me, closing this gap feels like I have a desire and I think about how good that desire is going to feel and then I do realize that I am giving myself permission to feel a certain way even though I don't have it so even if I still want it I still want to feel joy along the way I want to you happily see what, what you're forward. getting at and this is really good what you're getting at is you, what you're saying to us or what we're hearing and what we want to reflect back is 
yes, I want the manifestation, but the reason I want the manifestation is because it will make me feel better. So I'm using my power of focus to feel better now. Yes. And then the manifestation has to come, but I'm not feeling better now for the ulterior motive of getting the manifestation. I'm feeling better now because my guidance is telling me that to be who I really am, I must find the vibration of who I really am. In other words, yes. the whole point of even wanting anything is, is because the larger part of you is already there and the getting up to speed with who you are is so exhilarating and being who you are is so intoxicating. But there will be another and another and another. You never get it done and you cannot get it wrong. And the reason you can't get it wrong is because it's never done. You're always reaching for, for the more, you see. Yes. So really good interpretation. Everything that you said was exactly vibrationally accurate. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> You know, that's enough for now. <laughs> because as I've, as I've observed you again, and as I see myself in this experience and in, in what you do, because I do share with people in a group setting like this, and I get so much out of letting them view hot chocolate and let them have fun uh, being themselves and me and, and exercising the total acceptance of life. What I feel here is the pure joy and knowing that fun is the only reason that I came here. It, the only reason you came here, yes. in other words, it's what you came to live. You came for the exhilaration and the joy of life. You didn't come to whip a struggle into alignment. You didn't come to right. fix a broken world or right. to heal a sick world. You came for the express exhilaration of life causing you to know that you want more and then the discovery of moving in the direction of it because there is nothing that is more the feeling of life than getting up to speed with the expanded part of you. Thank you. And there we are at the end of the gathering. It could Perfect not be timing. better. Good time for segment of lunch. <laughs>